Breath of the Wild 2 rumors are slowly getting more and more spicy. What's up guys? It's Edible Incredible, and today I'll be touching on a few short rumors about a new trailer, gameplay details, and a title. So first and foremost, I'll have a link to the articles where I got this from down below. These rumors came from 4chan, so they're most likely fake. However, according to the article, in the past, there's been 4chan rumors that turn out to be true. With that being said, let's start with the trailer rumor. So a new huge trailer is hinted at being unveiled this March. Funny enough, there's a separate source that indicates a mid-March Nintendo Direct. The rumor states that Zelda will be playable, but only in specific dungeon scenarios, where we'll have to switch between Link and Zelda to solve puzzles. Does this mean co-op is finally gonna be a thing? Sadly though, it says only Link will be playable in the open world. However, Zelda will apparently be able to alter the weather for Link and harness the power of nature. If this is actually true, then would she have the potential to spawn or even possess animals at will? It sounds more and more like Zelda Zelda will in fact be Link's quote unquote companion. Breath of the Wild Link's companion was basically his smartphone. Who knows if they'll reintroduce traditional companions again, but Zelda playing a similar role would be really cool. Of course she already did this back in Spirit Tracks, but never in a 3D Zelda. The rumor continues with the return of the magic meter, and this article assumes that it'll be a gauge for Zelda's nature harnessing power. Which could make sense. And now for that title. I think this is the cheesiest part of the whole rumor. It's called Bond of the Triforce. Come on, cuh, don't be pulling my leg like that. If any of these rumors are false, I'm betting on this one. It's not a terrible name for a Zelda game, but it's just too perfect to coincide with the rest of the rumor. So I could see a Nintendo Direct happening next month, but I'm not completely sold on a big Zelda trailer, especially one with a name reveal. But last time I doubted a Zelda reveal, I was completely wrong. Zelda being playable on the other hand is tough to wrap my head around, but it's something I've been hoping for since the tease of the Champion's Ballad, where at the time I thought Zelda and Link would travel together to see what's wrong with Faruda, which could still be a plot point in Breath of the Wild 2, solving a new corruption to the Divine Beast. But I think Zelda literally being mother friggin nature would be incredible. Incredible. We'd finally witness more of her badass power, and even control it to an extent, if she's playable of course. So what do you think? Is it finally time to see what Nintendo's got up their sleeve? Or will we have to wait at least until E3? Are you a believer in winter 2020 or release in 2021? Let me know your hopes and predictions, and my next video should revolve around the mysteries of Majora's Mask, an easter egg slash lore based video. And until then, I hope you all stay hyped! Bond of the Tribal? Peace!